Okay, so it tells us in this problem number five, it says the cylinder has a dimension shown in the diagram. And we want to write the polynomial in standard form. That means standard form, we order the um, terms from the uh, variable with the highest degree first in order of highest to lowest. Okay, now, um, surface area, the formula for surface area for a cylinder is going to be 2 pi r h plus 2 times b, and b is the um, area of the bases, or the base, all right? Well, the area of the base, so here our r value, our r here is going to be equal to x plus 1. And our h, or our height, is the um, value or the altitude in between the two bases. So our h is going to be equal to x plus 4. All right, so now we're going to rewrite this, and we're going to substitute these in. So we're going to say s is equal to 2 pi. Then in parentheses, I have my x plus 1. Then I have my h, which is going to be x plus 4. Now I'm going to add my area for base, so area for a circle is going to be pi r squared. So that means that I'm going to have, in order this, so r squared, r squared, r is x plus 1. So that means that we're going to have to do that twice. So we have 2, then again we have pi, then we have x plus 1 squared. That means that squared value is going to be that, let me write the r is equal to x plus 1 over here, and then the h is equal to x plus 4 here. This is actually a pretty challenging problem. I like this one. This is a good one. So now we're going to use all our distributed properties. So let's, let's take this one step at a time. I'm going to leave the pi to last, all right, the pi. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk about this. So we can distribute this. So I'm going to distribute that. 2 pi to both terms inside. So this this parentheses is now going to become 2 pi x plus 2 pi. Okay. Then we have x plus 4. Still, we didn't do anything like that with that. Now I can't distribute this because I have a different I have different bases and I have different exponents. So I need to distribute that exponent first. So then that's going to become 2 pi times x plus 1 times x plus 1. Remember, that squared value means that's that number twice, or that base twice. Now I can distribute that 2 pi there. So now let's rewrite everything. So this is going to become 2 pi x plus 2 pi times x plus 4 plus, so we have 2 pi times x, that's going to give us 2 pi x plus 2 pi times x plus 1. Now I'm going to distribute all my terms. So I'm going to distribute first the inside to the uh, first. So now 2x, two, 2 pi x times x is going to give us 2 pi x squared. Then I'm going to do 2 pi x times 4, which is going to give us plus 8 pi x. Now I'm going to do the 2 pi to the first, so that's going to be plus 2 pi x. Then I'm going to do the 2 pi to the 4, which is going to give us plus 8 pi. Now I'm going to do the next term, so I'm going to add. Now we're going to do the same thing, so we got 2 pi x times x, that's going to give us 2 pi x squared. First term to the second term, so now this is going to be plus 2 pi x. Now this one to that one, and then that one to that one. So then that's going to give us plus 2 pi x. Then lastly, plus 2 pi. Whoops, it's not let me write it. Ah, I'm try to write it plus 2 pi. Okay. Now I'm going to combine all the like terms. 
So I have a x squared there and I have an x squared there. So x 2 at pi x squared plus 2 pi x squared becomes 4 pi x squared. I have a, let me do a different color. I have an 8 pi here, 8 pi x, 8 pi x there, a 2 pi x there, and I have a 2 pi x there and a 2 pi x there. So that's going to be 8 plus 2, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's going to be 14 pi x. Now we're going to add up the next one. So now we have, let's do blue. So now we have an 8 pi there and a 2 pi there. So then that's going to be plus 2 pi. Oh, sorry. I counted wrong. That should be 10 pi. 8, 9, 10, that should be 10 pi. Okay? That's pretty much the easiest way to do it and straightforward. It gets a little wonky when you're talking about the this line here. So it's a good idea to use a highlighter like I did so that you're making sure and identifying all the like terms. It's very important. All right? Now, so that means that our correct answer, if we were to look at this, is going to be C. Because we have 4 pi x squared plus 14 pi x plus 10 pi. I'm going to do problem number 6 in the next video because that one, again, takes a little bit more time.